So, what I'm thinking is the problems when I play, um, what was I saying? When you play a video and it doesn't seem like it's synced up words and uh, pictures, I wonder if it's recording right now. Well, we'll find out. Oh, you know what it is? There's a problem I have. Look, I've already gone off on a tangent. I'll come back to it. Uh, I have two sets of lights in this office, or two banks of lights. And because putting them both on is extremely bright, I only have one on at a time. But that's kind of, it's changing the way it's uh, putting the picture together. I'll turn the other one on and I'll show you what I mean. Now it's like much more bright. And you can see that it's the frame rate is much better because it's able to adjust the iris or the, I don't know, whatever. So anyway, my original point was when we watch a video and it doesn't look like my voice is synced up with my lips, watch your lips. How's your lips? How's your lips? Yes. No one knows what I'm talking about. It's because those are the ones where the first sound in the video isn't right at the beginning. It's like a couple seconds of me being silent or reacting to what's on the screen or this or that. Uh, cheers, Garcia. So if I make noise right from the very beginning, in this case, whistling the music in my head, I think that will fix the problem with it not being in sync, I think. Now, the other factor it might be is that the video ends up so large by the time I upload it that there's a, something that happens there. But I haven't done any really long ones lately to test that theory. Some of you yesterday said that you like the 10-minute videos, so we may air it out. We'll see. I mean, it's already been two minutes of me talking about meta stuff. But really, that's why you tune in, to see how meta I can get. The other thing was everyone and their uncle reminded me that I did not actually speak the time and temperature. Although I put it in the description, and I put it in the G Plus post, and I put it in the Facebook post, I did not put it on the W. And even on Facebook, some people don't read the descriptions. They just leave comments at them saying, hey, why didn't you do that? So uh, today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2012. Outside, it's a rather warm 23 degrees and that's because it's snowing nobody saw that coming this is the latest since they took records uh, back in 1850 something in the state of Minnesota this is the latest in the season that we have had sub-zero temperatures and we actually haven't had the sub-zero temperature yet but it's forecast that tomorrow we will go below zero for the first time all season and if that's the case, it will be a record. The record was, hmm, was it today the 18th or yesterday the 17th? Today is Wednesday. I think the record was the 18th, so tomorrow will be the 19th when it happens. And that will be a record. First, we've got to get through the snow. Apparently, it's going to snow for a couple hours, just enough to make everything really annoying for driving. In fact, I should be on my way to the Target Center right now. But out of the sense of obligation... I'm recording a video to talk to you right now. Tonight we got the Pistons. I like our chances. I hear the Pistons aren't that good. Hopefully they will not be good tonight. Hopefully we will be good. And that will be it for games this week at the Target Center. Friday's game, national television, because it's the exciting Timberwolves-Clippers matchup. This is a big deal because everybody's like, ooh, Kevin Love versus Blake Griffin. Kevin Love versus Blake Griffin. They don't actually play each other, but they play the same position, I think. So it's like, who's going to be better? The answer is Love will be better because Griffin is ugly, and I hate him. I, I don't hate him. I just hate Kia ads. And not just the Kia ads that he's in. I hate those Kia ads with them hamsters in them, too. But that may be an LMFAO problem. Wow. Wow. And that's how you get from here to there. Let me go over the W and make sure there wasn't anything I needed to answer. Jeff said something. Doug said something. Cerebus said something. Um, 
the guy whose name I forgot said something. Yeah. But it's all go Giants. I can't root for the Giants. They knocked out the Packers, and I don't like Eli's face. There, I admitted it publicly. I don't like Eli's face, and I don't like Blake Griffin's face. So, get your faces off my TV. Even though I'll be seeing lots of Blake on Friday and lots of Eli, I'm assuming, on Sunday. A couple of suggestions for what I should put on my wall back there. Greg the Pie Man, very quick to offer up uh, any sorts of Giants memorabilia. Come on, man, stop rubbing it in. Cerebus wants a Batista poster. Preferably a Batista movie poster from one of Batista's movies. Do those things even exist? I don't know. The plus side is they are probably very cheap to acquire or come by. Uh, if you can find one for me, we'll, we'll consider that. That would be a nice Batista movie poster. Yeah, I can see that happening. I can't remember the name of that movie that I sat through. John also sat through it and reviewed it. It was the one that had him and Rob Van Dam and... Was Omarion the rapper that was in it? Hey, I know. I'll look it up on the internet. I'm pretty sure IMDb isn't blacked out for Sopa Day. Let's see. What should we look up? Batista. No, we'll look up Dave Bautista. There we go. Wasn't Scorpion King 3. I know that for sure. And I don't even know. You don't need to know this, but obviously I'm going to look it up. There you are. 38 after the hour. Thank you, Taco Bell. Is it House of the Rising Sun, where he played Ray? Mm, no. I'm not recognizing any of these names. So it must have been... Or was it? No, it wasn't. That one's got Danny Trejo in it, though. I should see House of the Rising Sun. So it must have been from a year earlier. Wrong Side of Town. I'll bet that was it. A movie I highly recommend to all Batista fans. Yeah, like Batista's on the cover, but like it actually is a Rob Van Dam movie. So, you know, figure that out. And who was the rapper? Ja Rule. I thought Amarion was in it too. Oh, Amarion is in it. Man, how do I remember that? How do I know who Amarion is? I don't know if you've noticed. I'm a white guy. Anyway, enough of that. You know how I was talking about keeping the lights down? And it's kind of a programmer mentality, I think, because all the programmers I know work in the darkness, basically. And I do feel an affinity for them, although I don't do a lot of programming, uh, except on the W where I've programmed almost everything there that we didn't get out of the box from our uh, original board software. But I tend to work in the dark for that reason too. That was a very important point before I started recording, but now I can't remember what the point of it was. Let me turn the lights off though. Let's see how this works. Because I have so many lights back here actually. You can't see them of course now. Ooh, isn't that neat? It's a little LED that flashes and does neat stuff when it works. Of course, you have to like make contact, and the battery has to be working, and this and that. But I really like. It. So I got a bunch of those back here. Whoops! Now it's not going to work. Well, anyway, I don't play with the toys there enough, right? Where's my strobe light? <laughs> Obviously, that's from Halloween. There's also a version that doesn't have sound, but I don't know how to make it work when I'm in the dark, so I can't uh, get it to work. Here we go. Oh, look, my LED started working now, too. So if you, if you get seizures, there's one, and there's two, and there's how long it takes the camera to adjust. Anyway. Uh, more playing with my stuff tomorrow. Coming up on 10 minutes, so I hope you're happy. 
If not, uh, you can let me know either way. I love comments. Goodbye.